Okay, and we are back, and finally, we are having a war that we're winning. We have a blockade on Austria-Hungary, which is giving us 60 v po uh, victory points, and we sunk their battleship. So they don't have a battleship left anymore. They've got a B, this old ship here, which isn't an unimpressive ship, other than the speed of 18 knots. That sucker ain't running away anytime soon. And a couple of armored cruisers. This being their most modern ship right here, with ten, with 12 10-inch guns, much, and pretty much the same exact configuration as my own armored cruiser. Except theirs is a little bit faster. And then everything else is old except for the destroyers. What we have under construction is just the reconstruction of our BB, which is now done. Let's see if we can press for hard terms. We got large territories and considerable war reparations, but they have no territories to take, so we don't get that much. <clears throat> and what we need to do, because our destroyers are all obsolete, <laughs> and this old cruiser is obsolete too, we need to design a new type of destroyer. We'll just auto design it. And could we do better? Could we do better? We have 33 knots. What does this say? Cancel. We can make bigger destroyers. We can. You cannot build a start. Never mind. We can't. Okay. So this is a 33 knot destroyer. And we have a pretty heavy torpedo arm. So I'm going to clear the turrets and I'm going to I can keep that. I want 5 inch guns and I'm going to add a forward a midships and then an aft. They can't be triple, they can't be casemates and no good. And if I reduce the ammunition loadout, we're still good. It's, it's, I've never seen destroyers. I've only seen okay. I've only seen one occasion where my destroyers have run out of ammunition. One. <laughs> That's it. I'm pretty sure we're not going to have a problem. But we don't have the overcrowding on the center line, so our rate of fire is still good. We have four torpedoes on each of these, and then three five-inch guns, which is very good. So I'm going to save this design, and we're going to go to build dialog, and I'm going to build six of them to start with, and then we'll build another six of them. Yes. And of course we get director firing now. Armor development. We'll send him an angry letter. Superimpose turrets on... <laughs> Yay, that thing, which doesn't really matter that much anymore. Replacing our old beat-up destroyers. Eh, sure, we could use the money to finish our destroyer program. Balkans, Balkans, Balkans. We'll call an international peace conference. Brilliant! No ships of more than 12,000 tons may be built! Haha! <laughs> I'm not building any. So you all gotta scrap your battleships and battle cruisers. Haha! <laughs> oh, that's great. It's like perfect. Of course, I can only build a handful of these things now. I can do this. You piss off a bunch of people. <laughs> Gets me a bigger budget so I can resume production of that destroyer. Uh, gives me budget and prestige. Uh... 
I don't have to worry about building big ships anymore. I wonder if that means I can't refit some of my older ships. I'm going to build six more of these afterwards. Commissioned... Actually, I think I'll take that, because I can rebuild my battle cruiser now for better guns. Make him a national hero, get me some more prestige. Can I... I'm going to save, and if this thing goes away because I'm rebuilding it... Yeah. More powerful 12-inch guns! And we'll take these off to save weight. Oh, what can else? What else can we do? Ship is short range. It's not complaining about having a lower weapon uh, ammunition loadout for those guns. We got a director now with more fire control positions. I don't really like reducing that, but if I do that, I could lose other stuff, like rangefinding in general. Ugh, oh, it's always hard. Yes, we're going to rebuild that. And we're going to cry because it's going to take eight months and I don't have that much money. We got a lot more torpedo mounts. So we're going to take all these obsolete destroyers that are in the Mediterranean. And then we got new ones. And we're going to mothball these. So we pay less in maintenance. And we're going to halt construction on that for the moment. Do it for two months. We got more money now. We don't need that. We're going to resume construction of that. I don't actually want to trigger a war. Because then that means this treaty ends. And I want to um, <laughs> make it so people can't build bigger ships than me. <clears throat> oh, well we can use that. A treaty cruiser. <clears throat> Three months to finish that. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, that was kind of stupid. Hmm. Do that. Ignores the international force and occupies the place. Turn. Yes, because it won't be very long. No need for that, because I don't have the money to pay for it for one thing anyway. And there we go. We're improving our ships. Turn again. Northern Korea. And they ignore us. Big surprise there. Close turn. That is corruption. We have 45 prestige. Considering that we lost two wars and we still have 45 prestige, it's really good. We still don't have access to oil. Mm. We're going to build a bunch of new destroyers. We're going to build another six. Eight. We're going to build eight destroyers. Oh, no, no, not worth it. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, we'll take that. This guy got really shot ahead in production.
Eh, we'll buy diesel. No, we won't. <laughs> Looked at the money like, nope, we don't have the money. We're Italy. Hmm. If we can get another war, that'd be easy to, to win. We're starting to sell off these old destroyers that are in mothball and in bad condition. We'll mothball these things too. Ooh, another treaty ship. Torpedo tubes on that one. We'll send an angry letter to France or daring to spy on us. No, you spied on us. Steal it. Commissioned. Hmm. Will this start a war? Yes, it did. Really? <laughs> Except they decline. Except they decline. Except, ooh, they didn't decline. So what is my mission? Apparently don't have one. Just keep going. Do we spot anything? Apparently not. So I'm going to sail into Austrian waters and see if we... Whoa! They found my merchant ships. There they go. We're over there. Max speed. Sail in that direction. Can't be anything particularly large. Okay, so they're over here. We see their ra their positions being radioed in by these merchant ships. They're getting sunk. We got a patrol boat too out here. Come on, spot them. There we go. There we go. There's two enemy ships over there. Three. Four. Five. Five enemy ships. Ah, ah, ah. Six. It's an old Kaiser class. It's a new Kaiser class. 12 10 inch guns. And of course, one of my turrets has to be knocked out already. But it looks like he's running away, so... Oh, are you kidding me? My guy's been hit by a torpedo. Yes. Yes. We're shooting at it. It's got light damage. We got a lot of ships here. You should have a decent... Yeah, it's a 4.7% chance to hit. If hit him again... Looks like he's taking damage. Let's hit him again. We've got most of our guns up and operating. They're running in this direction. How's my... Whoa, 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 whoa. Pause, pause, pause. Very slowly, head back into port. <laughs> no! Oh, shit! Oh! 
Ah. Well, I did save. I think before doing this. Oh no. Yes to all. I should have sent it back into port when I got hit by the tor a single freaking torpedo. It might actually make it back to port. I don't know. Uh, nope. Why is it not over yet? Oh, that's terrible. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you later. Ouch. One torpedo.